Today's class, I would like to explain the difference between the interference and the diffraction. The interference is due to the superposition of the two coherent sources. Superposition of two coherent sources. Superposition of two coherent sources. Two coherent sources. Regarding that one, we have taken a source, S is a source. So, this source of light emits the crests and wave troughs like this. So, crest trough. Uh, one solid line is called as crest and dotted line is considered to be as a trough. Crest trough. So, in the propagation direction, if we take two slits, that means S1 and S2, those are also called as S1 and S2. These two, these two sources, once again, they are producing the crest to trough, crest to trough like this. Crest, trough, crest, trough like this. So, these are participating in the interference. So, due to that one, on the screen, we can get the uh, different intensities. That means, intensities are alternate intensities. Maybe, we may get at the center maximum intensity. From that, we can observe the fringes like this. We can observe the fringes like this. So, those fringes are uh, rectangular shape fringes. Why? Because here, yes, sir, we are taking as a uh, rectangular shape. So, like this, we can get the alternate bright and dark bands or fringes. In the Newton strings experiment, we got rings. Okay. Why? Because based on the aperture we are taking, the uh, fringes are changes. Okay, the interference is superposition of due to the two coherent, so originating from the two coherent sources. But if we take a diffraction, it is happens due to the uh, superposition of two different super superposition of superposition of or uh, two different parts of two different parts of secondary wavelengths to different pairs of secondary wavelengths due to that one this diffraction will takes place so these two the second difference is in the interference all the bright fringes all the bright and dark fringes that means all fringes bright and dark all bright and dark fringes all bright and dark fringes have same width, same width, same width. According to Young's double slit experiment, that is beta equals to lambda d by d. Beta equals to lambda by d, lambda d by d. But if we here take here, so as we know that the diffraction pattern will be like this. this if it is your source, if the rays are not diffracted directly reaches our screen at the position p naught, we can uh, at your point. There we can get the maximum intensity. In the propagation direction, if we place any obstacle, the light will bend. The bending phenomena is nothing but diffraction. How much of angle it makes with the principal ray is called as angle of diffraction. So, there we can get the minimum intensity when compared to the central. This is called central maxima. This is the intensity distribution curve. The intensities will be decreased like that. But if you take here, if we take here for a central one for a central one the intensity is maximum next zero once again maximum zero maximum zero maximum so this is the intensity distribution curve for this this is the intensity distribution curve for this that means here all the bright fringes are having same intensity so whenever if we take the fringe width is not same. Fringe width is not same. Fringe width is not same. The third point here we have to be discussed here is all the all bright fringes, all bright fringes have same and maximum intensity. Maximum intensity. Here this is called zero order. This is first order. Like that, second order. That means here, 
order increases if order increases order increases intensity decreases due to that one only we are observing the shadow regions okay the final point is the final point in the interference is all dark fringes are all dark fringes are all dark fringes are zero intensity all dark fringes are zero intensity so this is the zero graph i am i have drawn vertically so just you have to be understand so but here we can get the uh, minimum intensity minimum intensity we can observe that means dark fringes dark fringes intensity is not zero intensity is not zero these are the differences between the interference and also in diffraction thank you